And welcome in. This is Kyle Cooper at the Varsity Sports. I'm here at Saguaro High School as the Sabercats take on the Eagles. I'm here with Coach Ramirez. Coach, what do you do in the offseason to prepare your team for this season? Our main focus in the offseason was coming together as a team and then just stacking days on top of each other to make sure that we're ready for this moment here tonight. And what do you do specifically to prepare for Flagstaff? Spent a ton of time in the weight room, probably more than we ever have. Um, and then, uh, like most programs, probably, you know, we had a spring program, summer program, fall program that consisted of uh, open gyms, you know, skill workouts, um, you know, played some summer ball, some fall balls to kind of tease us and get us ready for, for the big show. And, uh, you know, here we are now, opening night. And what is your message to your team going into the season? Uh, the message is to stay connected, uh, to compete every night, and play with joy. All right. Good luck, Coach. Thank you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Thanks. six weeks ago so there's been a lot of change for these boys and we're seeing uh, baby steps but we're seeing stuff in the right direction as we just change the way we're trying to play basketball flag high and what are you looking forward to uh, throughout the season what do you tell your team you know I think um, the way we've talked about it is stacking fundamental building blocks and stacking wins and try to get things we can so we can build a good foundation Hopefully this will be another good step. We had a rocky start when we opened up against Seton a week ago, but we played at the Valley Christian Tournament this last weekend, and we took really great strides. For me, being the new coach with these boys, it felt really like I had a whole summer rolled into four days of basketball, watching kids play and seeing different combinations of boys. All right, good luck tonight, Coach. All right, great job with the national anthem. So, yeah, so it, it, it's, it's been three years, and Coach Ramirez was a rookie head coach. We were rookies in covering his team that first year. We've been along for the ride. That first year, it was senior heavy. They literally had two underclassmen on their whole roster. Next year, it was a rebuilding year. Uh, and, and last year, they kind of made it through the season. This year, higher expectations. As you could see by their roster, you know, they've got a nice blend of talent, but this is proven talent. They're young, um, including one freshman, for God's sake. So, should make for an interesting matchup tonight. You look on the other side of the bench, and you've got a lot of seniors and a lot of juniors with this Flagstaff Eagle team. So, starting lineup. Let's run through, and uh, Kyle, if you would, please introduce the starting lineups for both teams. Yeah, for the Flagstaff Eagles, we have Angel Guerrero at point guard, and then we have number two, Connor O'Brien Pubini at shooting guard, and number 12, Tayshawn Bay on the wing, and then we have Jake Sintner as small forward and finally Robert Saxton number 15 as their power forward on the other side we have Saguaro at their point guard we have O'Shea Bonner number zero 
number two, Jackson Tripp. He's the shooting guard. And then at the small forward position, we have number 13, Nashoba Redhouse. And another point guard, another shooting guard starting for them is Trey K, number 24. And to finish it out, we have number 44 at center, Joe Miller. Coach uh, Ramirez traditionally has liked to go with a fairly small lineup. He'll bring in his bigs from time to time, but uh, he's he likes to shake things up. Another way we're going to shake things up is we are bringing back the Coach Ramirez mic. Had a lot of fun with it last year. He was uh, he agreed to be mic'd up again. So at key points of the game, and yours truly is actually running the mute on the mic. So I'm going to have fun tonight with Coach Ramirez uh, mic'd up for us. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Players at uh, center court, We've got number 13, Jake Sentner, and number 44, Joe Miller. And the tip controlled by the Eagles, out of bounds. Sabercats will have it. Inbounding is K. Trey K to inbound for the Cats. Off to Bonner. O'Shea Bonner brings the ball up court to the corner. Makes a move, top of the key, drives the lane, and turns it over to the Eagles. Here come the Eagles. Guerrero up court and blocked out of bounds. Eagles should maintain possession here. Sentner and number zero, Bonner, with the infraction. Number two. Driving, posts up, and ball rolls out of bounds. Eagles will have it back. Up top, Sentner to Guerrero. Guerrero drives the lane to the corner. And a press. Back to Sentner for three, no good. Rolls off the glass and controlled by the Eagle Saxton. And a turnover now to Red House. Red House brings it up court. Back to K. K for three, three. and it's good! And that's Buddy K hitting the three with a great look there. Here comes the Eagles. Sabercats lead 3-0 to open up scoring. And Guerrero with the miss. Rebound goes to Miller. Miller. Off to Kay. Kay drives the lane inside, dishes off. Back outside to Miller for three. No good. Controlled by the Eagles. Guerrero brings the ball up court. Guerrero guarded by Bonner. Guerrero. And losing the ball out of bounds. Saxton got tripped up. And the turnover. Neshoba Redhouse to inbound for the Sabercats. And Coach Ramirez surveys the court. In comes Bonner. Bonner brings it up court, walks it up to Red House. Red House, back to Miller, Miller. Trying to go inside with it, and the turnover. O'Brien Pubeni brings the ball up court for the Eagles. Drives the lane inside, dishes it out, and for three, in and out. Eagles will have it back. And right away, we're seeing a number of turnovers from both teams, so they're just getting warmed up to start the season and hopefully can smooth things out as we keep watching. Sentner looks, top of the key to Guerrero. Guerrero back to the corner. Off to Pubeni. Pubeni double covered, dishes it out for three, and that one is good. Camden Hagerman nails it from the corner. The score is tied at three. Bonner sets up the offense for the Sabercats. Back to the corner to Red House. Red House to K. In and out. Controlled by Guerrero. Guerrero 
Rapid fire brings the ball up court. Makes a move inside, taken away by Bonner. We've got the infraction. Bonner will get called for his second early. Oh, no. Actually, correction. That was on Neshoba Redhouse. Okay. Into Guerrero. Corner to Hagerman. Back to the corner. Top of the key to Guerrero. Guerrero looks over the top, tries to get it inside. Dishes to Hagerman, who nails another three. Eagles lead 6-3 in the opening quarter. Bonner, left corner, drives the lane. Nearly loses it, dishes off to Tripp. Tripp searching, finds Redhouse as the outlet. Redhouse to Bonner. Bonner back inside. From 20, in and out. Miller follows through and it's good. Joe Miller, heady play from six. Cats within one. Sentner drives, dishes to the corner for three in and out by O'Brien Pubani. Here come the Sabercats. And another attempt falls short by Kay. Kay back with it from seven, and it's good. And Ramirez calls a timeout. We'll go to the Coach Ramirez, Mike. Hey, right here, right here. 30, we're up, we're up, we're up, we're up, we're up. Hey, look, defensively right now is, is my concern. We're gonna score. Okay, defensively, we got to get good closeouts. That kid's hit two threes now, correct? Right? We got to locate where he's at. We got to know where, where Jake's at, too, number 13. Hey, we know who their guys are. We got to locate them. You got to know where they're at. We got to do a better job, too, on the inbounds. O'Shea, O'Shea, you're the guy picking up ball. You got to be ready to go right away. And we just communicate and talk from there. Let's go. Come on. Cats on three. One, two, three. Kept it positive. That's yeah. good, good coaching, good coaching is teaching. There you go. Well, Sabercats lead by one. Kyle, any observations so far on uh, this little back and forth here early on? Well, one thing you mentioned, Vince, early was that they have a smaller lineup in Saguaro and, you know, early on in the game, they're struggling on the, on the glass to get uh, rebounds and they're starting to turn that around a little bit here, getting some more rebounds from Joe Miller, so if they can, you know, continue, can you continue dominating down low, they will uh, come out well in this game. Guerrero for three, in and out. Miller comes up big with the rebound. Dishes off to Redhouse. Redhouse brings the ball up court. Guarded by Bay. Off to Bonner. Bonner inside, dishes. What a play. Redhouse. Great job on the assist there. Inside and turned over, but the foul. That'll be against Joe Miller. Miller will have a seat. As will Tripp. And uh, we've got 15, Quinn Kalis. Kalis. Dishing inside. Center back out to Hagerman for the three. Score is tied at nine. Three minutes remaining in the opening period. Bonner dishes off. Redhouse, no good. Rebound. Guerrero comes up with it for the Eagles. O'Brien Pubeni inside, back outside, falls short. Off to Shepston. And the jumper inside by Kay. Cats up by two. Coach Ramirez is not happy there. He was, he, was, he was just assuming what was going to happen. He called that before there was even any contact. There was contact, but he called it before the contact. You can't assume it's going to happen. Coach Ramirez stating his case. 
And over the top to Guerrero. Guerrero finds Hagerman. Hagerman drives the lane inside, double covered, in and out. Bounces back outside to Sentner. No good. Hagerman once again. Sentner for three. In and out again. And the official That foul will go against the Eagles' Camden Hagerman. And the Sabercats will have the basketball. Officials are trying to settle this out here. Well, yeah, 14. Okay. So inbounding the basketball for Saguaro, Javen Blacks. To his uh, backcourt mate, O'Shea Bonner. Bonner brings the ball up court for the Cats. Dishes off to Kay. Kay stops. Back to Bonner. Bonner, top of the key. Double covered to Kay. Kay for three. And it's good. Nothing but net. Wow. Kay's already getting it going here early with a couple threes. Cats with their biggest lead of the game at five. O'Brien Pubeni to the corner to Zachary Baia. Back to Hagerman. Hagerman driving. Cats doing a good job inside. Now to Baia. Baia backs it off. Back to O'Brien Pubeni. Double cover. Shoots from 12. No good. Here come the Cats. Bonner with the basketball. Walks the ball up court. Guarded by Baia. Back to Blacks. Blacks to Kay. Kay found his sweet spot from about 20 feet trying to get back there. And that shot by Shepston, it falls short. Rebounded by the Eagles. Baia brings the ball up court. Back to Hagerman. Hagerman. O'Brien Pubeni finds Hagerman underneath and can't get it to fall. Blacks with the rebound. Bonner sprints up court, stops, drives to Blacks. Blacks in the corner, drives the lane and rolls off to Baia. In the corner, O'Brien Pubeni with the lay-in, can't get it to fall. Hagerman on the follow-through. Closing seconds of the period. And K. after one, the Cats lead by three. We'll take a quick break. Sabercats up 14-11. We'll be right back. Hey guys, Vince here to talk about Angel Dentistry. It's where my wife and I have gone for over 10 years and we trust them with our routine and extensive dental care because they care. Dr. Amber Angel is an Arizona native, born in the town of Miami and has been practicing in the Valley over 20 years. For general to comprehensive dental services, call 602-788-2008. Located off of Cave Creek Road, just north of the 101 in North Phoenix. Angel Dentistry, proud supporters of our young people and proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show. Hi Varsity Sports fans, this is Shai Gara. Make sure you stay tuned for our halftime where we break down different highlights from sports locally or otherwise. So plenty of entertainment and content coming your way if you stick around with us. What I personally think is cool about our halftime show is we cover different sports, maybe some you might not expect, and a variety of different content, of course, high school okay. football, and maybe some professional stuff such as NFL highlights from the previous week. Talk to me. Got a, got a fucking rebound. Welcome back. And the Sabercats lead the Eagles 14-11. Inbounding for the Eagles. 
Sentner, Jake Sentner, off to Angel Guerrero. Kyle, we'll have to get your assessment here. The first stoppage in play of what you're seeing so far. Harrison Fritsch checks in for the Eagles. Fritsch dishes off. Back out to Guerrero for three, no good. Controlled by the Sabercats. And Bonner finally comes up with it. Official stoppage in play. And Bonner will inbound the basketball to Blacks. Coach Ramirez making some adjustments here early in the second quarter. So we have an issue with the uh, clock, getting that settled. And here we go. Blacks with the basketball, back to Bonner. Bonner walks the ball up court. Bonner, Cats lead by three. Bonner finds Blacks to K. K from 20, pops. Somebody may have gotten their hand on that basketball and it rolls out of bounds. Sentner will inbound for the Eagles. Back to Guerrero. Guerrero brings the ball up court, guarded by Bonner. Off to Fritch. Harrison Fritch. Nearly loses it. Sentner picks it up, guarded by Kay. Sentner spins, dishes off to Hagerman for three, no good. Joe Miller saves the day with the rebound and the quick foul. That'll be against Zachary Baia of the Eagles. And that's his first. Blacks to inbound for the Cats. Hey, hey. Warrior, Warrior! Bonner walks the ball up court. Bonner considers it, does it, and it's short. Miller comes up, follow through, and it's good. Joe Miller perseveres. Cats by five. Inside. Baia for three. Off the glass, no good. Miller. Controls it, dishes off to Bonner. To Blacks, losing it out of bounds. And the Eagles will have it back with six minutes remaining till half. Hagerman for three, just short. Controlled by the Eagles, back outside. And driving and the foul. Nice job by Center trying to take it to the basket. And Miller gets called. Justified? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was a great drive by uh, Sentner. And you really see the Eagles using great ball movement to beat the Saguaro defense. Jake Sentner at the free throw line. First one is in. Checking in for the Cats, Quinn Callis. And Joe Miller will have a seat. And follow through is good. Cats lead by four, under six minutes till half. O'Brien Pibeni checks back in. Hagerman will have a seat for the Eagles. Sabercat basketball. Bonner walks the ball up court. Midcourt looks to dish it off. Finds his uh, target in Shepston. Stops and pops, can't get it to fall. And Sentner comes up with it for the Eagles. Jake Sentner off to Guerrero. Guerrero in the corner. Stoppage in play. And that'll be a turnover. Cats lead by three. K, Trey K, off to Callis, Callis to Blacks, Blacks for three, in and out, and the foul inside. Against the 
And uh, Sentner gets uh, tagged. Katz will inbound it. Tripp loses the ball. Laughing comes up with it. Guerrero brings the ball up court. Looks to go inside, backs it off. Dishes to Sentner. Sentner to Puben O'Brien Pubani. Connor brings it up, dishes off. Connor gets it back, off the glass, didn't even call it. Cats by one. Coming up on four and a half remaining till half. Stick around, folks. We'll be joined by Coach Ramirez right at the start of halftime. Guerrero. Guerrero for three. No good. O'Brien Pubeni has been hustling for that basketball and gets fouled in the corner. Foul will be called against Jackson Tripp of the Sabercats. Inbounded. Sentner with the ball. Sentner for three. Nice attempt, in and out. Trey K with the basketball for three. No good. Rolls off the glass. Harrison Fritch with the rebound. Off to Guerrero. Guerrero pushes the ball up court to Sentner. Sentner drives inside, loses the ball. Off to Shepston. Shepston to Callis. Callis to Blacks for three. A lot of three-point attempts in this game. Guerrero comes up with it. Here come the Eagles into the corner to Laughing. Dishes off. O'Brien Pubeni can't get it to fall. Callis comes up with the rebound. Off to Trey K. Trey K walks the ball up court, guarded by Ethan Laughing. K, top of the key, dishes off to Shepston. Shepston to Blacks. Off the glass, no good. Sentner. And here come the Eagles. Three minutes remaining till half. Sentner blocked inside. Callis with the big rebound. Jav Javen Blacks to Trey K. Falls short. Guerrero. Sooner or later, shots are going to fall. Both offenses struggling a bit from the field here in this second period. O'Brien Pubeni pulls back and nails it. And the Eagles take the lead. 17-16, 2.26 remaining till half. Jackson Tripp brings the ball up court for the Sabercats. Tripp guarded by O'Brien Pubeni. Tripp dishes off, finds K in the corner. K. Looks, drives, loses the basketball, but is fouled. Foul will be called on the Eagles laughing. And some substitutions galore occurring here in the final two minutes of the first half. Once again, folks, stick around. Halftime will be joined by Sabercats coach Lucas Ramirez. Bonner. Offensive foul will be called against Joe Miller. That's his third already here in the first half. And the Eagles will call a timeout. We're going to keep it here and go to the Coach Ramirez mic. Right here, right here, right here. I can't, I can't. Someone's all I got. This is bad, bad call. He's asking him. Hey, right here. Hey, two minutes, two minutes of man-to-man -man defense. We've done a good job of rebounding a little bit but they've still gotten some open shots, okay? Finish the half here. We, we gotta have great offensive possessions. We can't just dribble up and shoot. When we're hitting, that's great. When we're hitting, that's fantastic. But it ain't working right now. Let's get some movement, get some good action. Let's go right here. Let's go, Cats on three. One, two, three. Cats. There you go. Coach getting his point across. So 
I think he's trying to get, get his players to get a little more confident and start getting a little closer to the basket. Uh, an awful lot of threes, but not a lot of them are falling in. Less than two minutes remaining till half. Hagerman with the basketball to Pubeni O'Brien. Back to Hagerman. Hagerman drives the lane, guarded by Bonner. Connor with the basketball, finds Guerrero, top of the key, Guerrero. Taking a shot to the face there was Bay with a basketball, recovering the Eagles, losing possession. Sabercats will have it. Blacks to inbound, finds Bonner. Minute and a half left. Reminder, we'll be joined by Coach Ramirez right at the staff uh, start of halftime. Bonner drives the lane unabated and dishes off at the end of his drive. Blacks couldn't quite hang on to it. Eagles basketball. Center brings the ball up court for the Eagles. In the corner. To Connor. Connor to Guerrero. Guerrero looking inside, instead finds Hagerman for three. Catch and air. Sabercats under a minute remaining. Once again, stick with us. Kyle will have a chat with Coach Ramirez right at the start of half. Get his first half thoughts. And maybe talk a little strategy for the third quarter. The cutter, nice shot made by Red House. Sabercats back in the lead by one. 33 seconds and counting till halftime. Setner off to Connor. Connor looking inside, turnover. Red House to Bonner. And Bonner loses the basketball. 19.4 seconds remaining. Sabercats with a one point lead. Sentner. Great early season matchup here for both teams. Connor with the basketball, guarded by Bonner. Sentner, five seconds. Dishes to the hoop, can't get it to fall. And that's the first half. Sabercats lead by one. We'll keep it here. Hey coach, we're joined by uh, Coach Ramirez once again here at Saguaro. Um, what did you see from your team in the first half? Oh, we had to battle through a little bit of foul trouble there. Um, you know, we had a little bit of a run there. I think we got it up to, you know, 14 to like eight or nine, you know, in a real opportunity to, to, to really extend that, and we just couldn't do that. Um, you know, they had a guy who was 7% this, this year from three, hit three threes, but, um, I mean, dang, I'm more worried about the rebounding game, to be honest with you. We got a rebound. Uh, to win this game. I mean, that's what it's going to come down to is rebounding and toughness. Um, offensively, we got in a little bit of a dry spell there. Um, we'll be all right. We just got to reemphasize a uh, couple extra passes, get, get some good things moving. But we just got to clean it up. First game jitters and, and uh, you know, heck of a long game left. Got to finish the job. All right. Thank you cool. so much, Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Yeah, appreciate it. Hi, my name is Eric Perry and I'm the proud owner of Eco Roofing Solutions. I've been in this industry for over 25 years and I'm the current president of the Arizona Roofing Contractors Association. Our mission is to provide the absolute best customer experience and we operate all over the entire state of Arizona. We will come out and provide a courtesy, no obligation roof inspection to you as well as an estimate within 24 hours. Our team is dedicated to providing the best quality product and workmanship 
and we're here to serve you. You can call us at 480-695-7736 or check us out online at ecoroofaz.com. To learn more about us, you can find me on Instagram at yourbeardedroofer or at ecoroofingsolutionsaz. We are proud supporters of our community's youth in the next generation, and we would love for you to come and join the hashtag EcoFamily today. Call Eric and his team at Eco Roofing Solutions, 480-695-7736, and they'll give you a fast, free, no-nonsense estimate. Tell them Vince sent you. The Tour de Tucson took place Saturday, November 19th in downtown Tucson. The nonprofit race reached its 40th year. Since 1983, perimeter bicycling events have raised over $110 million for local and international charitable organizations. The race offers three different routes, a 32-mile, a 63-mile, and a 102-mile race as well. The routes take cyclists through parts of Tucson, including Oro Valley and all the way to Vail. Riders battled some light rain and eventually some humidity throughout the day. For cyclists, this race is their Olympics. They have to train and overcome many obstacles, and 32-mile rider Tim Fabbitt certainly had his own challenges to overcome this year. Fabbitt had open heart surgery six months ago. Throughout his lengthy and extensive recovery, his goal was to participate in this race in his unique banana mobile. Fabitz made it to the tour and beat his time from last year. He also finished 25th out of about 1,200 riders and was six in his age group. I had the opportunity to speak to Fabitz post-race where he shared his touching story. Uh, yeah, I'll probably get I will probably get emotional here. It was tough. This year was very difficult. Um, in terms of even getting back on the bike. I, I, there was a lot of concerns about whether I'd be able to do it. I lost a, you know, a tremendous amount of strength during it. Uh, mentally, I just wasn't into it at all. And it was, uh, it was a challenge even getting to this point. So I'm very fortunate, very lucky, great support from my family. And uh, you know, hopefully this is just the beginning of a number of other events that we can participate in. With the Varsity Sports Show, I'm Shay Garrett. When you think of family restaurants and sports bars, think Bonfire. Bonfire is part of the Tempe landscape, supporting local schools. Join the Bonfire Booster Club Challenge. Mention Corona Del Sol, Desert Vista, Marcos Denisa, Mountain Point, or Valley Christian, and that school's sports program will earn loyalty points. The winner after football season will earn a fundraiser at Bonfire. Come for the food and fun. Support the community. Bonfire. Open every day east of I-10 on Warner. Show your game ticket all day Friday and Saturday and get 15% off. 480-306-6801. Hi, my name is Eric Perry and I'm the proud owner of Eco Roofing Solutions. I've been in this industry for over 25 years and I'm the current president of the Arizona Roofing Contractors Association. Our mission is to provide the absolute best customer experience and we operate all over the entire state of Arizona. We will come out and provide a courtesy, no obligation roof inspection to you as well as an estimate within 24 hours. Our team is dedicated to providing the best quality product and workmanship and we're here to serve you. You can call us at 480-695-7736 or check us out online at ecoroofaz.com. To learn more about us, you can find me on Instagram at yourbeardedroofer or at ecoroofingsolutionsaz. We are proud supporters of our community's youth in the next generation and we would love for you to come and join the hashtag EcoFamily today. Call Eric and his team at Eco Roofing Solutions, 480-695-7736, and they'll give you a fast, free, no-nonsense estimate. Tell them Vince sent you. The Phoenix Suns played against the Portland Trailblazers yesterday, and this could be a new budding rivalry between the Trailblazers and the Suns, as, you know, the Trailblazers got DeAndre Ayton, the longtime center for the Suns, who played for the Suns for five years, and now he had the opportunity to come back to Phoenix for the first time in a different jersey playing for the Portland Trailblazers. He was welcomed with boos from Phoenix Suns fans, and he ended up having 18 points and 8 rebounds in the game. Malcolm Brogdon added in 19 points, 5 rebounds, and Jeremy Grant had 26 points, 6 assists, and 4 rebounds for the Portland Trailblazers in this game. But they ended up falling to the Phoenix Suns. 120 to 107. The Suns are now 8 and 6, and the Trailblazers are 3 and 11. Kevin Durant for the Phoenix Suns scored 31 points, had 9 assists, 4 rebounds, 
and Devin Booker had 28 points, six assists, and three rebounds. The Suns have now won four games in a row overall, and they moved to two and one in the end season NBA tournament. Now these teams have very different records. You know, the Suns are looking to compete for a championship this year, and the Trailblazers are in rebuild mode. But despite this, there was still some rivalry happening in that game yesterday. After the game, both Kevin Durant and Devin Booker were asked about former teammate DeAndre Ayton, and Booker said that he played well, but he needs to play well like this every single night, sort of throwing a jab at how Ayton was inconsistent on the Suns and didn't show up every single night for them. Now, if the Trailblazers do turn it around, this could turn into a bigger rivalry in the NBA. It's always fun to have some sort of new rivalry in sports. And when a player gets traded to another team and they play against each other, it is a great opportunity to see how the fans will respond and the te former teammates will respond to that player. But in this game, it really wasn't close. The Suns outscored the Trailblazers 66-44 to in the paint. They shot 56.6% from the field and 96.4% from the free throw line. The Suns will hope to continue winning as they will face the Memphis Grizzlies on Friday, November 24th at 3 p.m. And that is going to do it for my rivalry of the week. This could be a new budding rivalry in the NBA. So hope you guys enjoy. Definitely want to pay attention to both of these teams. And once again, this has been Kyle Cooper with Varsity Sports. And enjoy the second half of the games. Hey folks, J.R. Lambright here, special field correspondent for the Varsity Sports Show. Join me every Saturday from 8 to 10 a.m. Pacific for J.R.'s Texas Tales, where I share stories of Texans who triumphed over adversity and gave back to their local communities. Tune in for a bit of gritty edification on KDUS AM 1060, Arizona. What's inside you? Is it strength? Is it speed? Is it knowledge of the game? Unlocking the greatness inside you means digging deeper, running faster, and going further than you can on your own. Banner Sports Medicine High Performance Center trains the athlete in all of us with technology, techniques, and You want to do a first half assessment? Sure. See what you're capable of by unlocking the greatness inside of you. Welcome back to the Saguaro Sabercat Game of the Week here on the Varsity Sports Show. My name is Vince Delisio, joined by Kyle Cooper. Kyle, you've had a chance to, to take in the game. You've been doing a lot of analysis. I've, I've seen you studying both teams. Give us your analysis. Yeah, I think Coach Ramirez really hit on a lot of points there in the halftime interview. Uh, the Sabercats need to rebound better. They really struggled to do that in the first half, so they need to come out and dominate there. They're, they're a lot bigger in size than the Eagles when Joe Miller is in. So yeah. if they can uh, rebound better and play better defense, I think they'll be in great shape for the second half. Well, leading scorers in the first half, Sabercats Trey K, number 24, with 10 points, and uh, Camden Hagerman of the Eagles, number 4, with 11 points. So there are your leaders here in the first half. Bonner with the basketball. Sabercats inbound. Bonner drives the lane inside, turns, spins, looks to dish it off. He does. And Red House with it inside. Back to Tripp. Tripp can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Saxton. Here come the Eagles. Sentner, great movement up court. Dishes back to Guerrero, who's on the wing. Back to Saxton. Saxton to O'Brien Pibeni. To Sentner. Sentner guarded by Callis. Taken away by Red House. Great defensive play by Red House. Takes it, dishes off to Bonner. And losing the basketball is Jackson Tripp. Eagles come up with it inside. And Connor dishes it up and in. And just like that, the Eagles up by one. Bonner. Off to Trip. Trip to Callis. Callis back to Bonner in the wing. 
And Redhouse drives the baseline. Reverses, can't get it to fall. Guerrero sprinting the length of the court. Dishing off. And some incredible ball handling here tonight. In and out. Back in. O'Brien Pubeni perseveres. Timeout called by the Eagles. We'll keep it right here. Off to the Coach Ramirez mic. Listen in. Sit. Who's the fifth? They want it more than you right now. They want it more than you right now. Take care of the basketball. Go up straight with that. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? No, go up strong with it. Get to the free throw line. Be strong. Take care of the basketball. We're getting stops, and we got to finish down here. Show who you are right now. Show everybody in the gym who you are right now, because I know who you are. You're tough, you're competitive, you're together. Be those things, do those things. Let's go, men. Let's go, come on. Cats on three, one, two, three. I don't know about you, uh, Kyle, but I was ready to run through a wall there. <laughs> put, put me in, coach. I mean, he's, I'm ready to go. Yeah, he's, you know, he's getting a 50 year old man that hasn't been on a court in a few years. But uh, anyway, all right, there we go. Sabercats will inbound the basketball with the Eagles leading by three. Bonner walks the ball up court. Guarded by Guerrero. Finds Trip. Into the corner to K. K to Redhouse. Redhouse for three. No good. Bonner comes up with it and loses it out of bounds. The Eagles will have it back. Under six minutes remaining. And Joe Miller checks in for the Sabercats. Early foul trouble. I believe he had three fouls in the first half. They need him down the stretch. Connor. Double covered, dishes off to Guerrero. Guerrero, top of the key, guarded by Redhouse. Guerrero, back out to Saxton. Saxton to Sentner, trying to go inside. Finally finds Connor on the turnaround. From 10, it's good. Eagles now with their largest lead of the game. Bonner comes right back and is blocked. A struggle ensues on the floor. Eagles come up with it all alone. And Connor taking on O'Shea Bonner wisely steps in. Center to inbound. Up top finds Angel Guerrero. Guerrero scans the floor. Finally giving way to Connor. Guarded by Kay. Back inside. And Bay couldn't quite hang on to it. Turn it over. Sabercats will have it back. Five minutes remaining in the third. Eagles up by five. Bonner brings the ball up court. Steady flow tries to get his offense set to Red House. Red House for three. In and out. Connor for the Eagles. Dishes back to Guerrero. Guerrero stops and pops from six. And Callis comes up with it. Up ahead to Kay. Kay relatively silent this quarter. Hopefully can generate some offense for the Sabercats. Off to Bonner. Bonner to Miller. Not enough on it. And center with the rebound. Center to Guerrero. Guerrero backs it off. Dishing off to Saxton. Saxton to Connor. Back to Bay. Bay in and out. No good. Miller disrupts it. Gets it off to Bonner. Bonner brings it back and is blocked. May have been called there. Substitution is going to be the scene. Sabercats. And Sabercats will have it back. K to inbound. 
Eagles by five. Kay over the top to Joe Miller. Miller. Back to Kay for three, and it's good. Eagles by two. Trey Kay with the tray. Guerrero in the corner. Finds Connor. Connor drives the lane, stops, pops it back outside to Hagerman, and the travel. Sabercat basketball. Sabercats down by two with possession. Can they tie it here? Bonner walks the ball up court. Slowly brings it up, sets the offense up, guarded by Angel Guerrero. Finds Kay. Kay to Miller. Miller, top of the key. Spins, dishes off to Shepston. Shepston back to Red House. Red House to Bonner. Bonner. And the three, and it's good. Mikey Shepston, and the Cats take the lead. 24-23, under three minutes remaining in the third. Connor, 4-3, in and out. Red House with the rebound. Here come the Sabercats. Ball was tipped, out of bounds. Cats will have it back. Starting to see a momentum shift here, Kyle. Two huge threes from the Sabercats to take the lead in this one. Laughing checks in for the Eagles. Bay checks out. 2.40 in the quarter. Bonner. Bonner to the corner. Back to the left to Shepston, Shepston stops and pops from three. No, his foot was on the line, the two-pointer. Sabercats by three, 26-23. Couple of big baskets back to back. Inside to Laughing, pops it back out to Guerrero, back to Laughing. Laughing, off to Connor, in and out. Joe Miller with the rebound. Losing it out of bounds, Sabercats will have it back. Last touch by the Eagles. K to inbound. Searches finds Bonner up top to midcourt. Bonner in the wing, receiving some instruction from Coach Ramirez. Bonner. Takes it to Red House for three, no good. Sentner with the rebound, stops, dishes off to Guerrero. Back to Connor, to Laughing in the corner, in and out. Rebound by Tripp. Bonner up court, finds Red House all alone, stops from six, and it's good. Neshova Red House. Extending that lead back to five. One minute remaining. Hagerman at the wing. Guarded by Kay. Guerrero spins inside, dishes back out. Back to Hagerman. Hagerman makes a move to Connor. Connor nearly losing the basketball. Double covered, going down and dishing out. Off the glass is Hagerman into the hands of Shepston. Shepston drives to K. K for three, and it's good! It's good! The Sabercats with their largest lead of the game at eight. 30 seconds remaining in the quarter. On the big three-pointer from Trey K. Sentner to Connor. Connor inside, no good. Rebound, Shepston to Bonner. 13 seconds remaining and counting. The Sabercats taking their time. Red House spins, drives, shoots, and goaltending. It's good. It's good. Red House credited with the basket. Point three remaining. 
Some substitutions here. We might have one more shot on this inbound by the Eagles. 0 0.3 seconds remaining in the quarter. And that's the end of the quarter with the Sabercats and their largest lead of the game at 10. We'll keep it right here. Back to the coach Ramirez, Mike. Mike, where's Miguel? Hey, great job. Way to hit two big shots and guess what? Get big time, big time, elite pass right there. Way to be unselfish. Hey, I'm gonna preface this. Simple right here, okay? That same energy and momentum that we finished the quarter with all, all through the fourth and let's get out of here, okay? Hey, they're gonna be pressing now, pot potentially ball. defensively, and they're also gonna be pressing in regards to trying to get quick shots up. Jake, number 13, their best player, he's gonna be head hunting right now. He's gonna be head hunting right now. You gotta know where he's at everywhere, Let all right? Hey, like hey, hey, finish, 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 finish. Hey, tough together. Let's do it. Come on. Hey, defense on three. One, two, three, three, three. Finish it. Mikey, I got you. Kyle, your assessment. Oh, it was a great end to that third quarter for the Sabercats. Um, they really turned it around, and now the momentum is in their favor. The Eagles came out in that third quarter with a ton of energy and it looked like they were going to take a le big lead here, but then the Sabercats respond uh, with some big threes, especially from Trey K. And now they have a 10 point lead. Start of the fourth quarter, Eagles to inbound the basketball. Hagerman inside to Sentner. Sentner double covered, and he's fouled. That'll go against Trey K. Sentner, first attempt is good. Be sure and uh, tune in to our social media, our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, even TikTok now for post-game interviews with our Sabercat player of the game as well as Coach Ramirez. Sabercat lead is eight. Bonner with the basketball. We'll be back here on Thursday night, by the way, as the Sabercats host the Dysart Demons. Bonner. Off to Kay. Kay loses his footing and the foul. Foul will go against Zachary Baia. Kay to inbound, finds Miller. Miller driving inside, dishes back outside. Goes to Bonner for three, and it's good! Three. The three by O'Shea Bonner. And the Sabercats lead by 11. Final seven minutes of the game. Sentner driving inside, blocked by Miller. Deflected out of bounds, Eagles ball. Sentner to inbound. Over the top, losing the basketball, off to Bonner, K saves it. Bonner all alone for the lay-in. Another great play. And Coach Reyes calls the timeout. You know what, Kyle? We're gonna keep it here, and <laughs> we're gonna go back to the Coach Ramirez mic. Shout out Coach Cass in the weight room there, O'Shea. Um, Hey, that's a winning play without even, without even scoring the ball. I mean, that's a winning play right there. Hey, no let up, energy, enthusiasm. Be ready for a round of subs and let's keep on going. Hey, on 13, Jake Cent Centaur, or whatever, uh, forgive me, I'm saying his last name wrong, in the post, okay? Do your work early and, and try and get around him, okay? Because they're gonna try and get easy buckets that way. You gotta do your work early and get around, coach. Hey, if we get to 10 seconds on the shot clock, Joe at the three-point line, the show behind him. Try and get strong side and trip, get on the other side. Joe, you're going to set a flat ball screen 
Well, we, we can't hear uh, Coach there. Uh, he's not mic'd up, obviously. But, Kyle, your assessment, wow, some energy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Sabercats uh, with a huge hustle play there. You always love to see that. Motivates the whole team, and now they have the biggest lead they've had all game, up 13. Wow. Great play tonight, all the way around. This third quarter has been uh, on fire for the Sabercats. And a light switch went on, and now into the fourth. Eagles with the basketball. Baia walks the ball up court for Flagstaff, and it's stolen. Stolen by Jackson Tripp. Comes back, turns it back over. And the foul. That'll go against Neshova Redhouse. That's his third. And inbounding for the Eagles, number 20, Parker Clifford. Stick around. Actually, post game, we are going to capture those interviews after we go off the air to give us time. We'll, uh, we'll end the live stream and get those post game uh, interviews posted on our social media. Bonner takes it up and good. Count it, and he's fouled. Sabercat lead is 15 with 6.08 remaining. The Sabercats are now driving to the basket for the first time, really, taking it over and over again and finding success. 6.08 remaining. In and out, rebounded by Ship. excuse me, Tripp. Couldn't get it to fall, rolls out of bounds. Eagles basketball. Connor to inbound for Flagstaff. Guerrero brings it up court. Off to Fritch. Fritch driving against Miller. Triple covered. Tries to find a teammate. And tied up by Red House. Sabercat will have it back. Great play from Red House there. Another great hustle play from the Sabercats. They're really coming out the second half looking a lot better than they did in Agreed. the first or the third. Some great play here. Bonner brings the ball up court. I'm sure you have a short list for the Sabercat player of the game honors, but uh, any number of players could have it tonight. Red House dishes out to Miller. Miller for three. No good. Tripp saves it. Kicks it back out to Miller for another three attempt, and he hits it. Joe Miller from downtown. Sabercats now up by 18 as Sentner drives and is fouled. Miller called for it. His fourth. 5.07 remaining and the Cats up by 18. Coach Ramirez making a substitution here as Sentner goes to the line. Makes the first one. Substitutions in the game. Miller checks out as well as Jackson Tripp. Callis back in for the Sabercats. With 5.05 remaining. Bonner pushes the ball up court to Redhouse in the corner for three. Neshoba Redhouse from downtown. Sabercats by 19. Sentner to Hagerman. Hagerman inside. And carving into that lead. Bonner brings the ball up court. Guarded by Guerrero. Four and a half remaining. Redhouse back to Kay. Kay drives the lane. Pushes back to Shepston. Shepston trying to go inside. Pops from three. 
no good. Rebound by Sentner. Sentner brings the ball up court for the Eagles. Sentner behind the back goes to Guerrero. Guerrero backs off, looks, tries to find Hagerman inside, can't. Instead finds Fritch. Fritch back to Sentner for three, and it's good. We'll take the quick timeout as well with 3.50 remaining in the ball game and the Sabercats lead by 14. We'll be right back. Hello, my name is Ella Walter Sanchez and I'm so excited to be a fall 2023 varsity sports intern. I'm currently a senior at Arcadia High School and host the morning news. My dream is to be a sideline reporter for an MLB team. I'll be hosting the Scottsdale Sports Report. See you then. When you think of family restaurants and sports bars, think Bonfire. Bonfire is part of the Tempe landscape, supporting local schools. Join the Bonfire Booster Club Challenge. Mention Corona Del Sol, Desert Vista, Marcos Denisa, Mountain Point, or Valley Christian, and that school's sports program will earn loyalty points. The winner after football season will earn a fundraiser at Bonfire. Come for the food and fun. Support the community. Bonfire. Open every day east of I-10 on Warner. Show your game ticket all day Friday and Saturday and get 15% off. 480-306-6801. Welcome back, three minutes and 50 seconds remaining with the Sabercats hanging on to a 14 point lead here over the Flagstaff Eagles. Bonner with the basketball. Walks the ball up court. Guarded by Connor O'Brien Pubeni. Bonner. Top of the key, dishes off to Shepston. Shepston. Drives inside, back out to Callis. Callis to Red House. Red House back to Bonner. The left wing getting K involved. K inside. And stepping out of bounds, the Eagles will have it back. 316 remaining. Sentner. Folks, once again, we'll be back here Thursday as the Sabercats host the Dysart Demons. Fritch. Back to Connor. To Sentner for three. No good. Hagerman takes it away. And the follow through can't get it to fall. Third attempt. Falls short. And Shepston with the rebound. Off to K. K brings the ball up court. Back to Shepston. Shepston inside, off the glass. Can't get it to fall. And Sentner comes up with it. And the foul. Foul's number 12, Mikey Shepston. Mikey Shepston. Substitution to the game, number two, Jackson Tripp. Number 44, Joe Miller. And Joe Miller checks back in along with Jackson trip. We've got a timeout called. We're going to keep it right here and get some commentary from Coach Ramirez on the Ramirez mic. Uh, hey, I want to finish this the right way. Okay, I want to blow this lead up, man. We got to get over 50 points. We don't do it by head hunting and, and trying to do it on our own. But look, rebound that thing. They're going over your back. Okay, you got to get position though. You need to work a little bit. You got to work a little bit harder to get some inside position, box them out, let them foul you, and or we get the rebound and we go. Okay, let's finish this the right way. You guys had a heck of a run there. We got to, got to ramp it up a little bit. Let's go, come on. Hey, give it to three. One, two, three, give it. Uh, Kyle, what do you think with Coach, uh, what Coach Ramirez told his team there? I, th I think he's absolutely right. They should definitely shoot for over 50 and uh, keep putting the pressure on because even though it's two and a half minutes, I mean, anything can happen. With all the threes that have been going down tonight, anything can happen. Eagles will inbound the basketball with two and a half remaining. Sentner inside, stops and pops. And... Coach Reyes will call a timeout. We're going to take a timeout as well with 2.28 remaining. Sabercats hanging on to a 12-point lead. We'll be back. 
Hey guys, Vince here to talk about Angel Dentistry. It's where my wife and I have gone for over 10 years and we trust them with our routine and extensive dental care because they care. Dr. Amber Angel is an Arizona native, born in the town of Miami and has been practicing in the Valley over 20 years. For general to comprehensive dental services, call 602-788-2008. Located off of Cave Creek Road, just north of the 101 in North Phoenix. Angel Dentistry, proud supporters of our young people and proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show. Welcome back. And Kyle, you brought up an interesting point. Last year, opening game of the season in Flagstaff, what happened with these two teams? Yeah, these two teams faced off and it went into double overtime as Saguaro ended up actually losing that one 73 to 68. Wow, double overtime. Sabercats inbound the basketball. Red House to Bonner. Bonner brings the ball up court, finds K, and the turnover, the Eagles will bring the ball up court. Jake Sentner. Sentner pops it out. Fritch back to Sentner, drives the baseline, takes it up, and it falls in. Sabercats by 10. Red House for three, and it's good. The three-pointer for Neshoba Redhouse. And the lead is 13. Connor guarded by Kay. Backs off, gets it to Bay. Bay back to Hagerman. Hagerman directing his team, finds Sentner. Sentner drawing near, spins, shoots, and it falls. In the foul. And the foul. Number two, Jackson foul Trip will be called down. against Jackson Tripp. And Sentner will go to the line. With a chance to cut this lead to 10 for Saguaro. Some substitutions here for the Eagles as Tripp inbounds the basketball. Bonner brings the ball up court. Finds Redhouse. Redhouse, not sure what to do, finds Tripp. Tripp loses the basketball. Hagerman comes up with it. Here come the Eagles inside and the foul. Another foul for Tripp. And that's his third as number 12, Tayshawn Bay, goes to the free throw line for two. With 1.10 remaining and a 10 point deficit for the Flagstaff Eagles. First shot, in and out. Second attempt. As Red House brings the ball up court. Red House inside. Laying it up and in is Shepston. Beautiful play there to beat the press. One minute remaining. Sentner takes it all the way. 51-42, Bonner. Eagles looking to foul, Bonner spins. Back inside to Red House, who takes it in from three feet out. And the 11 point lead for Sawaro. Carlson dishes it out, back to Sentner, Sentner. And it's good. Count it, Count and he's fouled. Foul, foul is on Trey K. As Sentner with a chance to trim it to eight. No good, rebounded by Bonner. 17 seconds remaining. 
Red House inside for the easy lay-in. Now the team's trading baskets and Sentner's fouled. 6.9 seconds remaining. Sabercats with an 11 point lead. Number 22, Nick Camerata to check in for the Sabercats. Camerata checks into the game. Sentner goes to the free throw line. Sabercats should come away with the win. To start the season 1 and 0. Bonner in the closing seconds. And there you have it folks. Sabercats defeat the Eagles 55-44. Kyle, any parting thoughts here? Oh, it was really that great third quarter where they switched it around. Uh, the Sabercats had great momentum going into the fourth, and they just rode the lead out the entire way. Um, great team play in the second half, and they hit a bunch of threes tonight to pull away from the Eagles. Awesome. On behalf of our amazing production team, led by technical director Lofton Lechner, Dorian Zavala, Aaron Nemiroff, and my broadcast partner, Kyle Cooper. My name is Vince Delicio from the Varsity Sports Show. We will see you back here Thursday night for more Sabercat basketball as they host Dysart. Once again, Sabercats win 55-44 over the Flagstaff Eagles to go 1-0 on this young season. Have a great night, everyone.